Welcome Leo, I'm Rosa and this is Purple Luna Rose Tarot. These are going to be your guidance cards for the week of November 15th through November 21st of 2021. Welcome back Leo and if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you'd like to join our tribe, don't forget to like and subscribe. Welcome to eclipse season. We're going to start with this week's lunar eclipse full moon in Taurus. Taurus energy is about money and food safety and security, and your root chakra. Eclipse energy is intense and transformational. This particular eclipse is going to be about rebellion. People are going to very much start to find out truths, shocking truths that could be surprising and could be upsetting and could cause people to rebel. Eclipses are also about cycles. The last lunar eclipse full moon in Taurus was in 2002. So you'll want to look back, what were you doing in 2002? And you'll want to look for repeated cycles. Each eclipse is like a wild card and can very much skip us or push us forward through these periods. But this lunar eclipse full moon in Taurus is very much the beginning of us courageously cleaning out our closets. All right, Leo, we're going to jump right in with the energy oracle. Let's see if we can figure out how this lunar eclipse, full moon, and Taurus is going to affect you, Leo. We have the thinking man. So the thinking man comes out and it says you're very focused on something. The blossoming abundance card is next. So it's very possible, Leo, that you're focusing on monetary value. Um, not too surprising with the Taurus full moon. Taurus full moon, again, as you'll remember at the beginning of the video, very much about safety, security, and finances. We're going to clarify the energy of the week with Queen of the Moon Oracle. Let's see why you're so focused on this situation. We have full moon power. So I feel like you're using this full moon to manifest something, bring something into existence. That's why you're so focused on it. All right, Leo, next we're gonna use the Heal Yourself reading cards. Let's see what challenge or obstacle you might be facing with the situation. We have family and tribe, so I do feel like you're having some sort of challenges with your family, maybe your soul tribe. Lesson already learned that can help you with that challenge. You have beauty. Beauty talks about knowing we are worth. Let's see what the outcome is, Leo. You have help from above. Beautiful. We have some big numbers here, too. I noticed you have 46 and 16, 20, 17, and 27. So I feel like number synchronicities could be sticking out to you. Let's clarify the main spread with the Llewellyn Tarot. Let's see why family and tribe is in your challenges or obstacles, Leo. We have Queen of Swords. Um, Queen of Swords can say that someone is being cold or cutting someone off. Oh, well, let's take all of them. We have the Four of Cups. Yep, blocking something out. And the Fool needing to take a leap of faith. I feel like this is going to fall over on the worth because I feel like your lesson learned is that you're worthy of being treated better. Um, you're worthy of like re being respected by your family and your soul tribe. Um, and it's very possible that you're having to take some sort of leap of faith because you're blocking or cutting someone out. You also have seven of wands. Yes. Having to have healthy boundaries, having to protect yourself. Let's look and see why help from above is in the outcome. We have King of Swords. So there is a match here. King of Swords is like taking an action to protect yourself. And we have Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a motherly energy and is all about unconditional love, Leo. All right, Leo. Next, we're going to clarify a little bit further and we're going to use the Rider Waite. Let's see why you're having to cut someone off or block someone from your family or soul tribe. We have Page of Pentacles. Um, pages are young. They're not to their fullest potential. There's usually a lot of fear. So there's some sort of fear um, that has to do with Pentacles, worth, money. Let's look at Lesson Already Learned. 
I feel like it's possible that you're just now learning this lesson. You have the King of Swords again. So you're definitely learning something about your own worth. Needing to protect yourself. Having healthy boundaries. King of Swords does take that action to protect themselves. And Knight of Pentacles. So whatever this help from above is, is going to be about the same pinnacle, the same, I'm sorry, the same king of swords. Um, it's like you're having to protect yourself. I don't know who the queen of swords is over here, but that's not you. This person is like cold um, and it's just not very, the queen of swords is not very nice. And it's like the king of swords is like, I'm not trying to be nice. I'm just trying to protect myself. Um, so it's like this person could be causing an issue in this family soul tribe over here. Um, and this person is just trying to protect themselves. Queen of cups tells me it's very possible. Um, you could be a mother. It could have something to do with like children, something like that, because the queen of cups is the mother of tarot and very much about unconditional love that's what you're getting help with and whatever is coming whatever help is coming it's going to be a message about something that's going to take a long time it's not something that's going to fix overnight leo next we're going to do guidance and this is going to be queen of the moon oracle and magical times together I do want to mention all the cards that we used in today's reading. I do have my Amazon affiliate link in the description box below. And Leo, if you've started writing your dreams down, I definitely recommend my guided dream journal. It asks you very specific questions and really helps you interpret your dreams. So if you guys haven't checked those out, make sure to do so. The link for those takes you straight to Amazon is in the description box below. All right, Leo, direct messages to you from spirit about this situation. Wow, we have expect the unexpected help from above full moon power. Definitely something big coming in here for you, Leo. You have power again, power, power, power. Look at all this. It says call upon the elements, focus your intentions. The greatest dragon is within you. That's going to be a very specific message for someone. And then you have nature. Sometimes all you need is to go outside, breathe the fresh air to remember who you are and where you want to be. Let's do one more. And we have peace peace of mind. I'm also seeing that bubble, healthy boundary. Um, a boundary could be giving you peace of mind. All right, Leo, we're going to end it with a Moonology Oracle, and this is going to help with your thoughts and emotions. I do feel like it's going to be an emotional week for you. I feel like you're really trying to protect yourself from some sort of situation. It could be a situation. It could be a person. It's like you finally had enough with that King of Swords, and you're like, this is it. I'm, I'm protecting myself regardless of what I have to do to do so. A time for healing, the boss McMoon. Don't let your past hold you back. It's the south node. The end of a tough cycle approaches. It's the full moon in Capricorn. Let's do one more. Conclusions are within reach. It's the full moon eclipse. And we definitely have a full moon eclipse. So answers are definitely coming, Leo. All right, I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this reading was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, Leo. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.